I gotta warm up because I ain't do this in a minute. I gotta warm up. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new year. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install my hair before I wash this because it, it needs a wash, but it's the new year and I need to look presentable and decent. So we're, we're gonna put a wig on. You know, it's the new year. I can't bring in a new year looking rough, okay? I mean, I can, but I don't want to. And I'm not going to, okay? So so we're just gonna throw a wig on. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm a beginner still. I don't know what I'm doing completely, but from a beginner's point of view, I wanna show you guys, you know, not to be scared to try things. Don't. And practice makes perfect, okay? You know, my hair is straightened, semi-straightened, but it's still kind of straight. So guess who don't gotta braid? And guess who not gonna braid? Cause guess who don't know how to braid? Me, okay. All right. Okay, guys, a couple of things first. I'm gonna take some soap for eight, you know, put that on my edges. I'm taking my favorite leave in conditioner, favorite one. And then I'm gonna take an edge control. I'm gonna take the Kiss Edge Fixer. You know, it may not be the best, but it's gonna work for today. Right, we're, we're just gonna use this cap. I got some light tan colored ones as well, but these ones are already opened and yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> I always wonder why people do this. Look, oh, geez. Okay, I don't do that, okay? So let's be realistic. But I feel like I do want to do it to get like a tighter hole. So. <laughs> Y'all, OMG. <laughs> I am not gonna post this. We are good. Okay, okay. And I'm basically blinding this eye, so I don't really need to cut it. See how this method works for other people. I'm gonna try this even wonder lace one. Oh my gosh, I'm retarded. Okay, we're just not gonna talk anymore because I'll just look plain dumb. And I, it's a miracle if I put this up. Alrighty, so I'm gonna explain what I'm doing in these clips. So I'm just spraying um, my spray adhesive. and Well, it's not really spray adhesive, but whatever. But I'm just gonna take that, spray it. I applied two layers and I used my blow dryer on a cool setting. And I also went, th went in with the got to be and I applied two layers of that and used the cool setting on my dry as well. All right, y'all, so I went downstairs to step to scare my own um, son. And I kind of feel bad, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> nah, but this for real, the part that be messing me up because I don't be knowing where to cut because I feel like I already got a forehead to eyebrow ratio, like a good ratio. And you're supposed to cut like, you know, you know, y'all know. Hopefully y'all know, I don't know. We're just gonna cut the excess lace okay. as closely to the... Oh yeah, by the way, I did like two to three layers of the spray. Like, I feel like this is just too close to my eyebrow. Cause sometimes I be hiking the girls up sometimes, you know? So, oof. Okay, good. I hope. Okay. Oh, but we're, we're gonna take some more spray. Oh my gosh, you are shining bright. You are not the star of the show. After cutting the excess stocking cap, I'm gonna take some more spray and lay down the ridges that occur whenever I cut the excess stocking. And I'm gonna go in with my dryer. If you guys are wondering what I did with the back, I just, you know, tucked it in. Well, day to day, it's okay. But if you wear flat hair, like straight hair or like body wave hair, I recommend you maybe want to get this as flat as possible. But I feel like I could get away with it because curly hair is 
big hair anyway, so I feel like I could cover it up. And if you guys are also wondering, this is my second install that I'm doing on myself. Like this is my second time actually installing the wig. Like I wear the wig all the time, but I put the, I throw a headband on or a hat and I go on about my business, <laughs> okay? But actually, me actually installing it, like doing all this extra stuff that lazy people don't do, Second time. Even though I really don't need to, I'm going to anyway. Um, I'm going to use this lace tinted powder that I got from the hair store. You could definitely use makeup, but all the makeup I have, I use for my face. Since I do have a 13 by four or five lace wig, I'm going to cover up the whole front section. And the details for the wig that I'm going to be using will be in the description box. All right, you guys, here's Here's the unit, okay? And I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts about this wig at the end of the video. Now we're just gonna slip the wig on. Most people have the elastic headbands. I wish I did, but I don't know how to do that. But using the clips on the wig will do for now. The glue I'm going to be using is the Melt Down Extreme Hold Lace Glue. All right, moving on to the glue process. I usually don't do glue, but we're gonna do it today. But I'm gonna to apply two thin layers. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I did have trouble with the glue drying down clear, I always do. I need to perfect my expertise in that area. But all I did was grab a makeup brush and hit the imperfections you know all in all from a beginner's point of view i feel like i did a pretty good job okay i was not gonna stress it all right you guys i only did two layers because i honestly might take this off the same day which is tonight so yeah and to hide my mistakes i ain't gonna lie i put makeup on first first did i not do good did i not I did decent for a sec. Oh, oh my light. Oh. But did I not? Did I not do decent? Okay, I did. Okay, but we're gonna wipe off my forehead before I get any more breakouts. And let me tell y'all, the sides are not gonna be giving because I don't care about the sides. I am going to glue this down because that's gonna be embarrassing. Take a cotton swab. Oh my gosh. No and some micellar water. Clean my forehead up. People use alcohol. Well, that I think that's what they use to prep the skin, but I'm not putting alcohol on my face at all. Oh, what did I do? Look at me, I'm about to mess stuff up. Cause Lord knows I'm not starting over, so. So I'm going to lay this down real quick and come back to y'all. Yeah, so that's the install. I'm going to do my makeup and then do the finishing touches on camera with you guys on how I style it. And I'm gonna try to hide the little cotton swabs that I put on by accident. I'm gonna hide that and come back to you guys. And my light's dying, so I'm gonna let that charge come back to y'all because this lighting is not it at all, so yeah. Hey y'all, I'm back. Uh, first and foremost, we're not gonna talk about the makeup cause I did take that off and redid it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna create my side part. It took a hot minute to create a part. I never knew it was that hard to part a lace. Just gonna grab a spray bottle, um, damp my hair. Well, I didn't even really damp it. I only lightly spritz my hair 
And then I took some foaming mousse and I did dry my hair and I didn't drown it, but I used a good amount of foaming mousse like I always do. But I kind of regret it because my hair did not puff up. It stayed kind of flat, just like you guys are seeing it now. Yeah, it stayed like that for the whole night we went out and I was kind of mad because I wanted that poofier effect. But we're gonna take the hot comb and make um, the part flat. So, you know, it could be given a little bit more scalp. Um, and then we're gonna take some of that same tinted lace powder and we're going to hide the unbleached knots that I did not bleach. And we're just going to change into a basic black crop top and some leggings. And then I'm going to take this wax stick that I did not, I did not know this thing was gold. But as soon as I applied heat to it, it, it went away. So, you know, I'm not mad at it. But yeah, this is the finished look, okay? Alright y'all, I'm just here to wrap up my review on the hair and the install itself. Um, the foaming mousse I used, um, the Douce, I do not recommend at all because my hair is crunchy and it didn't puff out and fluff out like I wanted to do, like I wanted it to do. Like I'm gonna show, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen on how the hair looked when I used a different foam. That one I will not recommend because my hair is crunchy and I don't like it. And it ain't give me that puff out look. For the price of the hair, like my the first, the very first unit I got from Unice or Eunice, um, it was very minimal shedding and it was just hardly there. Now with this one, I get a good bit of shedding. Like I understand it's curly hair, but that was too much shedding in my opinion. And that happens like, that happened the first time I got this wig as well. And another thing, I did not customize this wig, meaning I did not pluck it or anything. I know it needs plucking, but it's gonna be a minute before I get there, okay? <laughs> we'll see. Don't get discouraged wigs they do look intimidating but i promise y'all if i could do it then y'all should be able to do it because i suck at doing my hair so don't get discouraged I just wanted to properly close the video out because the internet I filmed was kind of crappy. So thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.